Hello friends, this is Normal here for Technique and in this video we are going to compare two budget smartphones the Lenovo Vibe K4 Note with the Honor 5X. So both these devices are launched recently uh, in the last one month and uh, this, these are also priced similarly. The Lenovo Vibe K4 Note is priced 11999 while the Honor 5X is priced 12999 So let's see which is better value for money and uh, we'll also add, uh, go into the detailed aspects about these two phones. So first step, let's have a quick look at the specs. The Lenovo Vibe K4 Note uh, is a successor of the K3 node and comes with a 5.5 inch full HD display. It has uh, uh, it is powered by an octa core chipset with 3 gigs of RAM. It's a MediaTek octa core chipset and this has Android 5.1.1 Lollipop with custom Vibe UI. It also has fingerprint scanner, 13 megapixel rear camera, dual tone LED flash, front facing 5 megapixel camera, and a 3300 milliamp hour battery. So that is the spec aspect of uh, the Vibe K4 Note. Now going to the Honor 5X. So this phone comes with again a 5.5 inch Full HD display. It's powered by the Snapdragon 616 Octa-Core chipset coupled with 2 gigs of RAM. And it has Android 5.1 Lollipop along with the custom EMUI. Now on the camera front, uh, this has um, a 13 megapixel rear camera, dual tone LED flash, a front facing 5 megapixel camera and it also has a fingerprint scanner. On the battery, it has a 3000 milliamp hour capacity. So this, uh, these are the specifications of these two phones. So now let's go into the detailed aspects. Now first up, let's see the design and build quality. So design wise, both these devices are pretty decently looking devices in this price point. While the Lenovo K4 Note has uh, completely gone for a new design when compared to the K3 Note, we have dual front facing speakers. Uh, it has uh, a good uh, matte finish rear panel. It, it is made of a metallic chassis. Overall, it looks pretty good and uh, quite uh, refreshing in terms of design as well. You can see metallic finishing over the sides. Overall, this device does give a good feel when using it, um, but uh, the rear panel is uh, plastic. That's only one uh, issue because it does attract uh, a lot of dirt uh, over a period of usage. So now talking about the design of the Honor 5X, it's an all metal body. You can see the brushed metallic finish uh, on the rear panel. It looks uh, quite good and uh, you can see uh, again uh, the metallic finish is carried over to the edges with uh, power and volume keys giving given a metallic finish altogether. Now this phone is also slightly uh, thinner than the Lenovo Vibe K4 Note, so that's the one aspect. So all in all, in the design and build quality, both these devices are pretty good in terms of the uh, design and uh, build quality. But then we would say the Honor 5X has slightly superior build because this has a metallic finish and this has a plastic finish. So in the design and build quality, we would say uh, the winner is the Honor 5X. Now let's move on to the display. Now both these phones are powered by 5.5 inch Full HD display. Now the white K4 Note has a Corning Gorilla Glass protection on the display but uh, the Honor 5X does not support that. Now apart from that the colors look really good on both these devices uh, considering the budget aspect of these two phones. Both are pretty good in terms of the overall fit and finish and quality and the viewing angles are also pretty good. So there is a tough choice uh, uh, with the display aspect but we would say the Lenovo white K4 Note uh, is slightly superior because of the additional protection it offers and uh, the Honor 5X is not far behind it's also a good display it's a clear vibrant display and uh, does perform pretty well so that's the display aspect now let's move on to the software and performance so software aspect both these phones run custom uh, UI and uh, they are uh, different uh, in terms of the overall look and feel uh, the Lenovo Vibe K4 Note uh, runs on Android 5.1 with custom uh, uh, Vibe UI and this is completely revamped UI now you have the app drawer you can see it's, it looks more or less like the stock Android experience and uh, you also have uh, a custom note, custom uh, set settings panel uh, where there are additional options. You also have fingerprint scanner. Uh, there, there are additional features like double tap to wake uh, and uh, smart scene, white touch. So a lot of options are included. And uh, you can see the notification center is also a custom uh, one and uh, does perform uh, pretty well. You also have customization of the notification panel. Multitasking is also implemented pretty neatly. So all in all, it's a feature-rich UI and does perform well. And it's powered by an octa-core chipset with 3 gigs of RAM. And the overall day-to-day -day performance looks pretty good with 3 gigabyte RAM. Now, one of the issues with uh, uh, the Lenovo Vibe K4 Note is the gaming performance. So we are quite disappointed with the gaming performance, which was not really that good. It was laggy with high heavy graphic rich game. So if you're into gaming, then we wouldn't suggest the Vibe K4 Note. But other than that, uh, the Vibe K4 Note produces the 
decent performance all around no lags or issues in day-to-day -day activities and uh, is a decent performer now talking about the uh, on our 5x this runs emui uh, 3.1 and it's on top of android you can see it's again a custom uh, panel and again the custom uh, uh, notification center and cube toggle there are lots of additional options you also have theme support although the wipe k4 node also has theme support it is limited to few themes but with uh, emui we have a lot of additional themes you can download and install and uh, there are additional features also included like motion control one-handed ui du dual windows and this is also comes with fingerprint scanner and a uh, lot of additional options included so it's um, slightly more uh, uh, feature rich in terms of uh, uh, when you compare with uh, the vibe ui but the ui is slightly more heavier than the vibe ui and uh, uh, since this has only two gigs of ram there is slight performance issues here and there you could see some uh, slight hint of lag here and there but not a major issue but the gaming performance on this device was really good so it has this snapdragon 616 octa-core chipset with two gigs of ram and the overall performance while gaming was quite good and much better than the k4 node but since this has only two gigabyte ram uh, the overall performance was not as good as the vibe k4 node in day-to-day -day task so that was the software and performance. Apart from that, uh, you also have 4G LTE on both these uh, phones. You can expand the storage on both these devices. Both support micro SD card and uh, both are 4G LTE enabled. So they, are, they offer 16 gigabyte internal storage as well. So in, so in that aspect, both are pretty decent. So overall in the software and performance, we would say software, uh, the EMUI is slightly more feature rich, but the performance looks much better on the K4 node. But if you're into gaming, then again, the Honor 5X is better than the K4 node. So that's the software and performance side. Now, if you're looking for great music performance, then there is um, uh, the Vibe K4 Node with dual front-facing speakers, which has really good uh, audio output, and it also has Dolby Atmos support. So that's one good thing. So if you're into music, then uh, the choice is the Vibe K4 Node. So that was the software and performance side. Now let's move on to the camera. So uh, here we have again a 13 megapixel rear camera and a 5 megapixel front facing camera. So the camera interface uh, is uh, feature rich on both these devices, although uh, both these devices offer most of the features you would want on a smartphone camera. We would say uh, the Vibe K4 Note has uh, slightly lesser features uh, in terms when compared to the Honor 5X which offers more options like uh, uh, the beauty face, good food and uh, it also has uh, additional filters included. Uh, you also have effects on uh, uh, the K4 Note as well but uh, com com comparing the features offered on uh, the uh, uh, the on a 5x you would say uh, the Lenovo Vibe K4 Note is slightly lower in terms of the features uh, so that was the camera aspect now let's move on to the uh, the camera performance so here are some of the samples taken between these two devices and you can see the clear winner is on a 5x the 5x camera performs pretty good and one of the best cameras in this price point we have seen with terrific clarity and overall um, colors and um, the sharpness levels are really good now the k4 node definitely is an improvement over the k3 node in terms of the camera performance but still does not beat the honor 5x so all in all in the camera performance the honor 5x is a clear clear winner now let's move on to the battery life so the k4 node comes with 3300 milliamp hour battery while uh, the honor 5x has 3000 capacity so both these devices have pretty decent battery capacity and the performance also looks pretty decent on both these devices. With a moderate to heavy usage, you can definitely get one day of usage on both these devices. So there is no real winner in terms of the battery performance. So those were the aspects about uh, these two phones. So which is better to buy in this price point? The Lenovo Vibe K4 Note is priced 11999 while the Honor 5X is uh, sold at 12999 Apart from that, uh, K4 Note uh, comes in a uh, flash sale model while the Honor 5X is readily available. So which is better value for money here? Definitely the Vibe K4 Note is value for money unless you are too much into camera and gaming. So if you're looking for better camera experience or rather the best camera experience in this price point along with uh, uh, gaming experience then the Honor 5X makes better choice. But if you're, uh, if you're looking for an all-round device with a decent performance all-round and value for money aspect then the Vibe K4 Note is the better choice. Uh, so summing up, uh, the Vibe K4 Note uh, has uh, decent design, uh, good display, uh, then the uh, software and performance is decent. The camera is just average and battery life is also good. Now all of 5X dis design uh, is good, uh, the build quality also good. Uh, the display is decent, then uh, the software and performance was uh, just okay. The camera is really good and battery life is pretty decent. So those were the aspects about these two phones. So hope you liked this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to YouTube channel for more videos. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.